Today's buds are completely mental, but it's not their 10 hour battery life or their automated setup process or the amazing sound quality by Meridian. It's not even the superb noise cancellation or the tiny form factor that got my attention. It's the three super unusual features that I haven't ever seen on any other set of earbuds. But before we get started, a massive thanks to LG for sponsoring today's video and sending me the best earbuds on the market. Don't listen to him. This channel is nothing but corporate sponsorship. Silly wigs and stupid catchphrases and bloody head explosions. In all seriousness, these buds have absolutely blown me away. And I can prove to you in a series of tests and by using charts to compare features that these are in fact the best, most featured earbuds on the market to date. But it's not that that's got my attention. It's the three really weird things that I haven't seen on any other buds. And these things are absolutely game changing. You can take their case, plug it into any three and a half millimeter audio output jack from any device, and it will take the sound coming from that device and then broadcast it via Bluetooth to the earbuds, turning a wired solution into a wireless solution. That's amazing. I, I can't, I've been told that I make my head explode too often, so I'm not gonna do it. I won't make my head explode. Instead, here is a stock photo of a young boy looking shocked. Is that conveying shock and awe to you? Is that working? How about now? <laughs> this means that I could connect the case to my Xbox control pad and have the ultimate wireless headset. It means that I could connect it to an old fashioned TV that only has an audio output jack and doesn't have Bluetooth and be able to connect my TV to my Bluetooth earbuds even though the TV doesn't have that capability. It means, most importantly, that I can plug it into the headphone jack on an aeroplane and watch the movie without some idiot getting up and pulling my headphones out of my head. It's never happened. It could happen. And I wouldn't like it. It would make me very grumpy. I hope that guy's not the baby's dad, just sat a few seats across, like... <laughs> Bad parenting. Don't do that. The new LG Tone FP9 earbuds. Drowns out children. Attracts women. Makes you smug. The little switch on the side of the case switches between Bluetooth mode and wired mode. And this is something I have never seen before on another set of earbuds. And between the cleaning function the ability to act as a wired pass-through device, the extra 14 hours of charge that the case can supply to the buds, which already have 10 hours of charge themselves, the fast charge functionality, and the fact that it's so small that it will fit in the inside pocket of a pair of jeans, this has got to be the most advanced earbuds case in the world right now. Just like the previous LG Tone earbuds that I was sent for review, these things clean themselves using UV light. Yes, I know that's mental. And to prove it, LG have sent me a black light. Thanks. I hate it. Oh no, that's disgusting. I knew I should never have shone a black light on anything that I own. I don't know what they want me to do with it, other than to prove that the human body is actually disgusting. But what I can tell you is that this case genuinely does clean the earbuds using UV light. The UV light only directly kills bacteria on the speaker mesh, but Unbox Therapy did prove that there was a genuine, significant reduction in overall bacteria using a luminometer. They used a luminometer to confirm that the ATP level had reduced all the way down from 718 to 168. I can't afford a luminometer, so I'm just going to do it the old-fashioned way.
a significant reduction in ATP. Two things are clear here. One, I've sunk to a new low. Two, it doesn't matter how much UV light you shine on something, or how many germs you kill, earwax still tastes like earwax. The app is the best that I have seen to date. And I've tried AirPods, Galaxy Buds, Amazon Echo Buds, Soundcore, Tronsmart, and about a billion others. But nothing comes close to giving you the additional functionality that LG's Tone Free app provides. First up is Whispering Mode, where you can take the right earbud out and then speak into it like it's a microphone so you can have a slightly sneakier conversation. What? You could moan to a friend about the annoying kid on the plane and no one would ever know. On top of this, the app offers the ability to change the shortcuts offered by the touchpads so that you can customize what happens when you single tap or double tap or even triple tap either the left or the right bud. It offers gaming mode to reduce latency for anything that requires near zero lag, and the buds support auto pause for when a bud is removed, but LG have actually given you the option to disable the auto pause feature, which is next level customization. And then there's EQ, which I love. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute. First of all, none of this is worth having if they sound like pants. So let's talk about sound quality. LG have employed a company called Meridian. You might have heard of Meridian because they're the guys that tune the car stereos for Land Rover and Jaguar. These guys are kind of a big deal. And Meridian have used spatial processing algorithms to give you a sense of depth and space and they've given you a bunch of EQ presets, which sound really nice straight off the bat. But most importantly, they've given you the ability to adjust an eight band EQ to your own preference. And it's this that will get you as close as possible to perfect sound. I'm several scenes in now and I can still taste those earbuds. Should not have licked them. I'm a musician. And the music you're listening to right now was created in this very room using the speakers that are on my desk. And this gives me a fairly unique perspective when it comes to figuring out if a pair of earbuds is actually giving you the artist's vision. Because I can compare them to the speakers that I actually created the music on. And I can tell you now that if I turn their EQ presets off altogether, these earbuds are as close to my original vision as I have heard yet in any other set of earbuds. I have spent hours swapping these buds in and out of my ears, along with the market leaders, to figure out what it is that I think is so special about them. And I've added all of my comments to this spreadsheet that is now on your screen, so if you're interested in the in-depth analysis, you can pause the video now. But long story short, these are my new champion and my new daily driver. Please lower the crown. People often ask me, what's the call quality like on the earbuds? And the answer to that question is, who cares? It's not 1992, stop using the telephone. But if you're interested, this is what it sounds like. They really need a Find My Earbuds case feature. You can find your earbuds using the Find My Earbuds feature if you haven't put them in the case, but what I do is I put them in the case, close the lid, and then throw it into the abyss and it's gone forever. Unfortunately, once the lid is closed, you can't use the Find My Earbuds feature. It does give you a handy map as to where the case was last seen if you've left them at a friend's house or something, but I can't find the case in my house once I've thrown it to the abyss. There is no functionality for that. That would be a great feature. It would probably add a load of money to the price tag, but that's a problem waiting to be solved. I love the notification feature, and it's probably the first pair of earbuds I've seen to have one, but it can't actually read the contents. I don't know if this is a security thing or what, but my car can do it. I would like my earbuds to be able to say, you have a notification from Adam in WhatsApp, he says blah blah blah, but so far it will just tell you there is a notification from Adam, it can't tell you what Adam said. The FP9's case doesn't have wireless charging functionality, which is a massive shame and a bit confusing because the FP8s do have that functionality. 
The FP8s, however, don't have the ability to be plugged into an auxiliary output jack for audio. So you've either got one or the other, depending on which you buy. If they produce an earbuds case that can do both, I'll be buying that. The battery life of these buds is three full hours longer than my previous favorite. The sound quality is the most natural I've heard so far, and the 8-band EQ brings these even closer. The case is tiny and brings brand new functionality that no other manufacturer offers. These are the best sounding buds with the strongest feature set. If you're interested in buying some, then as usual, there are links in the description as to where you can pick some up. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. That'll tell YouTube's algorithms it was a good video and more people should see it. If you want to see some more of this guy, hit that subscribe button and ding that bell. If you ding the bell, it lets YouTube know that you want to be notified when I upload videos. These incredible people here are my patrons from Patreon, and without them, this channel would not exist. If you want to be one of these incredible people, you can do that at either Patreon or buy me a one-off beer at PayPal, and either way, I will genuinely love you forever. These are my Facebooks and my Twitters and my Instagrams. Come and hang out there, and we can be best friends. See you next time. Please pause the video and have a read if you're interested, and if you're not, lazy person, why is there a thing outside my house? Go away. <sighs> Shut up! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. A significant reduction. <laughs> I can't do too many takes of this because I'm licking earwax. Then a pair of earbuds that don't have a case with a UV nano I don't know what the word is. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Well done.